Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Grim Report. Now, guys, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the Clayton, the Clayton House, but it was originally served as a residence for William Henry Harrison Clayton and his family. The Clayton House has also been home to several paranormal experiences. Director Martin Siller and her employees steer, steer clear of the bedroom on the second floor, where the sounds of boots stomping and doors slamming have been heard. In the Clayton study, Siller and her daughter have both seen apparitions of a woman with gray hair dressed in brown, a carpenter look, took some pictures while working on the house, and when he got them back, a woman appeared and paranormal investigators have been have captured several recordings in the house, including one of the cat meowing and one of a man yelling in a vicinity. When the public was invited to these investigations, a woman reported her hair being tugged and a man saw a person's face. Welcome to the Clayton House. 514 North 6th Street, Fort Smith, Arkansas. Standing regular, regularly on the Bella Grove Historical District, the Clayton House serves as a living historical look for the Smiths. Elegant Victorian period during the city's frontier beginnings on the border of Indian Territory. The Italianite style mansion also provides perfect setting for weddings and privileged gatherings with its stately employers pro and expensive grounds. Expensive grounds. The Clayton House proves to step back in 1882, the year William Henry Harrison Clayton moved into the fam moved the family into an Annabelle Atabellium home that he dubbed the si in size and shape into an Italian style masterpiece. Coal burning fireplace, period furnishing furnishings in each room place in a time featured no indoor plumbing, no electricity, but that was with that was rich with Austria, Australian. Our guide tour, our guided tour, provides perspectives of the mission to bring law and justice to the area from the home of Chief Prosecutor of the famous court judge Isaac C. Parker. Please browse. Okay, they talk about their website. The Clayton House in downtown. Our days back to centuries. It was first built in 1852, once acted as a hospital for soldiers during the Civil War. The home's most notable owner, William Clayton, was attorney appointed to the Western District by President Ulysses S. Grant in 1874. Today, haunting rumors sound the house, surround the house. There is one bedroom on the second floor that many say gives creepy feeling. There have been reports that sounds like a boot stomping door slamming music coming from other areas of the house. A former director, she even saw ghost of a woman in Mr. Clayton's study. She said, I saw the apparition of a woman in Mr. Clayton's study one day. She was dressed in a brown skirt and linen shirt and had gray hair which was put, peeled in the bun, piled in a bun on top of her head, said Miss Martin Seller. Victors, visitors have they said they felt that they'd been touched when no one else was around. One woman even said her hair had been tugged. Several paranormal investigators managed to get some recordings of voices in the background of the home with such vibrant history at the Clayton House. It's clear plenty of other rumors go to go around. Well, guys, I wanted to talk about this because, I mean, it's in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and that's a, not that far from where I live at, I believe. And it was just something I thought I'd tell you guys about, a little bit more about Arkansas history. 
but how crazy some things can get. But to recap, everybody in Fort Smith, Arkansas knows of this house. It's practically a big house. They say it's one of the biggest ones there. It's been examined by uh, in private, you know, investigators. It's Wild known, world wild. It's known throughout most of Arkansas. You could probably ask anybody about it. And it dates back to the pat way before the Civil War. And there's probably Civil War ghosts because, like I said, it was a Civil War hospital. What's interesting about this, though, is when I look for something to tell you guys about a little bit more about Arkansas, about some of the haunted areas, this thing was one of the first things that popped up. And I thought you guys might want to know that. A little bit more about my state. But, um... It is interesting that this, you know, goes back to when I first started this channel. I was into everything type of news. Didn't matter. Real news, fake news. I put a lot of work into that stuff, and it didn't get a lot of views. And like I said, one night, I was on a... I heard about DW, Dark Waters. I was on a live stream with Dark Waters and Vault. And one night, and they told me Vault brought it. I brought it, so they asked me what I... Did they ask me what I did? So I mean, I do the I do news, you know. It don't matter what type of news I'll do it. And Vault brought it up that uh, why don't I just do paranormal news? And that's what it hit me. I started looking up stories, anything. And Vault even said, look up something in your hometown, you know, in your somewhere around you or some in your state. And that's why I did this one tonight. This is a tribute to old Vault, you know. Starting from where I began, somewhere near in my somewhere in my state. And this is one in my state. I thought I'd bring this one up because I mean it is just for a tribute. Essentially a tribute. It, it's for a vault. Because the idea, this is one of the first ideas he gave me. Look up something in your own state. You know, you're going to find something paranormal. And I decided to do it tonight because it's a creepy night. You know, it's, it's no moon out tonight that I can see. And I got it kind of bright, but kind of, I'm wearing a black shirt. You know, kind of deal. I had this planned. Okay, uh... I was taught, I text Lakea, and she asked me, what, what are you going to do next? And I said, I don't know, I'm not sure. And I thought immediately of what Vaught had said. And, and I remembered the Clayton house that I had it, or I just been saved for months. Been waiting to do it, but. I thought I'd wear black and black on black, of course, and get it kind of gloomy in here, a little less bright, and do this as a tribute to Vault, going back to what he said. Look up something in your hometown or around, and. That's why I did this one. He watches my videos. Oh, man. It, it just excites me. Him watching my vids. So, I had to do something for him. So, this is going back to my roots in a way. You know, starting. You know, more. I'm going to be doing a lot of more 
more paranormal stuff near around Arkansas every once in a while. Tomorrow, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to be looking up Urban Legend again. Doing another one of them. Like I said, I'm going to be doing something different. Every time I get something good, I'm going to do it. For you guys, and paranormal news never stops. But I do stop. I don't do it on weekends. Next Sunday, which will be the 23rd, I do believe, I will be doing the last spring. Like I said, I'm doing it on Sundays. Because Lakea's got Saturdays, Walt's got Fridays. You get the family the entire weekend. Put it that way. I'm gonna have. I plan on having Barry back on. I'm gonna have some. In I'm gonna have a subject planned out. I got an entire week, two weeks to plan it out to get something right and done. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but uh, pretty sure I'll figure it out. But yeah, they're they're. I'm not gonna do any more blogs. Even though I know they got high, they got pretty good views. I'm not gonna do any more. I, I'm more of a. I'm a pretty private person. You know. I'm gonna, hopefully. Well, no, hopefully. You know, I'm gonna I'm always gonna have something every day. I got at least five videos planned already set up stuff set up already for at least five or ten more five to six more videos maybe more I'm constantly looking up stuff paranormal almost every day almost every day not every day I'd have a backlog of stuff <laughs> so be looking forward to the next stuff because this stuff's really some of this stuff's really gonna get creepy creepier than the Clayton house but this was a tribute to Vault and, um, Lakea, you know, Lakea, of course. And I guess you could say DW, mostly for Vault. Because, like I said, he's he's more, he's a buddy, he's a friend, but he's more of a mentor to me. I just like how he does his stuff, you know. I, he, he doesn't show his face, but, um, I show mine, of course, I can't do the Grim Report without showing this my face because it wouldn't be it's going back to my roots as well. I've always did face cam. And I will continue to do face cam until I have to get a new laptop and I'll got I'll let you guys know. This thing this even this camera's been acting up. My internet's been acting up. Pissing me off, but I'm working through it. But um like I said, this was a tribute to Vault, the Vault, going back to my roots, so to speak, and doing something in my home state. So, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, I recapped enough. People are going to always do these. They're always going to get plugged, and you know it. So, if you don't want to hear it, leave. Subscribe to Vault Keep Vault of Nightmares. Please look at his stuff, check out his stuff, and please sub. Lakea the Librarian, please look at check her stuff out. Please sub to her, because she has some great stuff too. This coming down the line. She's just busy with Vault and DW. You know, she's a librarian. She's the keeper of uh everything. Um Vamp. The ghosty. Please check her stuff out. She's got stuff coming down the line. Her and Lakea are gonna do live streams when they can. But check them check her out too. She's gonna start some stuff put some stuff up soon. That's what I've heard. Um uh, Chaos Theory Productions. Please check out his stuff. Oh my god, you talk about people he's got He's got stuff coming down the pipeline that's not even I'm phrasing vault stuff coming down the pipeline and also DW um stuff coming down the pipeline that's gonna be very interesting um and dark waters please check out his stuff too he's the one that started the family 
and I guess you want to say he's the big daddy of the family. Check him out, please. He is awesome. I'm pretty sure he's got links to everybody I just mentioned. If you go to his homepage, and he's got the little sub thing over there, and I'm pretty sure everybody I just mentioned is there. If not, then I know Vault sub to, sub to me, of course. And I also know he's subbed to LaKayla, LaKayla vice versa. I also know he's subbed to Chaos and DW and stuff like that. I checked out their pages. Of course I do. I mean, they're part of the family. But please, these people are awesome. And I wouldn't be here doing what I do now. You wouldn't have the Grim Report the way it is now if it wasn't for those people. They make my, they make me pop, they made me possible. So, good luck, good night, God bless.